Hi, this is Ben Ling, and in this video I'm going to be showing you ways to remove negative feedback from customers on your Amazon product page. But first I just want to explain and help you to avoid getting unhappy customers in the first place. The first step to avoiding negative feedback is good customer service and having a great product. The best way to deliver good customer service on Amazon is by keeping in touch with your customers to make sure they receive their product and are happy with it. This way you can find out whether the customer is happy or not in the Amazon Messenger system which gives you a chance to correct any issues a customer has before they go ahead and leave you a negative review on your product page. If you find out a customer is really unhappy with the product for any reason, I would give them a full refund immediately along with a message via Seller Central along the lines of Hi and then their name. I'm very sorry to hear you had a bad experience. I have refunded you 100% and there is no need to return the item to Amazon. So the reason you're doing that is you don't want them to send the product back to Amazon anyway because it, it ends up more effort for the seller who's you. You'll need to then destroy it if they send it back so it's, it's up to the seller to do that. So you just basically, you're doing yourself a favour and them um, by asking them if they're unhappy with the product, you're giving them a full refund. They don't need to go to any extra effort of sending your product back because that's the last thing you want to do. You don't want to cause any more hassle for the customer who's really unhappy with your product for any reason. And then you just go on to say, my apologies for the inconvenience. Could you possibly tell me a little more about your issue with the product? So you want to ask for more information about the issues of the product because that's the only way you can improve and make your product better. And this way you're in control of your customer's actions. Without keeping in contact with your customers, you can't understand how they are feeling about their purchase on Amazon. So you want to draw out what is going through your customer's mind by asking questions and listening to your customer. And the other benefit of this is you can get more information on how your customers are using your products and use that information to improve it. And that leads back to what I said about having a great product. It improves customer satisfaction, which will ultimately lead to less negative reviews and more positive reviews. So you want to keep listening to your customers who have used your products and keep gathering feedback and use it to keep improving your products over time. So if you already have a negative review on your product listing, here are four ways to try and get them removed. First one's refund the customer. Number two is follow up by phone or message. So you can actually contact the customer, but I'll go into more detail on these. You can ask Amazon support to remove it. So their seller support can actually, I've seen it happen, they, they actually remove it for you if the customer's maybe got the information wrong on the review. And then the last one is you can just bury it with more positive reviews. So I'll just go into these. So the first one is refund the customer immediately and then send them a message similar to the one mentioned before. Just along the lines of, hi John, for example, we are really sorry our product was not satisfactory. We have given you a full refund. Then also mention that they do not need to return the item as I've explained before, so you don't want them sending it back to Amazon and you don't want them going through the effort of sending it back to Amazon. Then go on to say, we will try to rectify the issue and improve our product to meet customer satisfaction in the future. And you just want to mention that so that they know that you're going to work on that and you're going to deliver the next customer uh, a better service and they're going to get a better service in the future if they use you. And this is another reason, that, another way to kind of get them to remove the review because the main reason they're putting out the review is so no, no one else buys a product that they were unhappy with and they're, they're all helping each other as a community on Amazon by reviewing others' products. Then go on to say, as you may know, negative reviews can have a detrimental effect on our business and we'd really appreciate if you could update the negative feedback or remove it from Amazon. And the reason I've refunded the customer before even sending this message is I want to just get this message to say we've refunded you before they even think about giving you a negative review because you don't want them having a, a bad product that they've they've now got to deal with and um, they've spent their money on it and they're unhappy. By just refunding them before they even think about that, you've already done them a favour, given them their money back and really apologised. So this message is obviously targeted at if they've given you a negative review and you're trying to get them to remove it. But you can't give them any incentives 
to remove your product like for example I'll refund you if you remove this negative review or I'll give you a free product if you remove my negative review what you need to do is re make sure you've refunded them and apologized and then mention that you want you would like them to remove the review because it's it's really affecting your business um, but you've also done them a favour, so it's a reciprocation law that you've done them a favour by kind of giving them a refund and uh, saying sorry and everything. And most times they'll come back and remove the negative review. And then right after this, what you want to do is follow up. So follow up with the customer by phone or email with a message along the lines of, Hi John, we're just using John as an example again. For any convenience I may have caused, I would like to give you a free product. So remember, this is after you've given them the refund and you've asked them to remove the negative review. So even if they do remove the negative review, you still want to do this and make up for it because what you can do is turn a negative review into a positive because you give them that free product and you can then follow up later on, on top of this follow up, to make sure that they've got the product and ask them for a review after they've received the, the second product. So you can give them the same product that they ordered and just make sure it's an improved version that, that w if there was a problem with your product. Or you can send them maybe a premium product of the ver a, ver a higher up version of the product that they originally bought. Um, you could do something like that or send another product of yours. Then you would just go on to say, here is your free coupon claim code and you would have to have created a claim code there's going to be another video on how to create these promotional claim codes and then you put in your expiry date because you need to put an expiry date on it just for security in case someone else gets on their hands on it if this customer doesn't claim it and then you just go on to say please let me know once you've used this claim code and received your product this way, I know you've been taken care of. So you're just making sure that they've received that, they've used the claim code and they've received their product okay and they're all happy with it. Then later on with that, as I mentioned, you can even get a review out of this, giving them that free product. So you can turn a negative into a positive. So if this doesn't work, and most times it does work, but if it doesn't, I've used this over and over, um, you can actually contact Amazon themselves via seller support. So you just go to your Seller Central account, scroll to the bottom and click on where it says Get Support and it brings up this wee box. Then you click on Contact Us on the bottom there and you can get them to phone you. You can submit a request for them to lift the negative feedback. So I've seen this work a few times when you can't get the customer to remove the review for you. As long as you explain to Amazon why they should remove it, for example, you could say the customer may have left the negative feedback for the wrong reasons and explain in detail what the wrong reason was, like if it's a shipping issue. If you're doing FBA, you shouldn't have any problems with shipping, so that's actually related to Amazon because it's fulfillment by Amazon, it's all shipped out by Amazon. So if there's like late a delay or anything between Amazon and the customer, that's not your problem. Or you, it might be the they're writing about the wrong product or they maybe had a bad experience with another seller and they've put the review on the wrong page or something like that and you can give this a try if you're not successful the first time I wouldn't give up though because what I've found with Amazon it's a hit or a miss with the customer service on the, f the phone line anyway sometimes you get through to a call centre and you can tell they're just kind of following a script but then sometimes you get through to someone who's got more sort of inside knowledge of Amazon who can be a lot more helpful so sometimes it's like I'm saying it's a hit or a miss when you phone them up or get them to phone you and I found a guy that I'll I'll make sure I only phone on the weekends so I make sure I get through to the, this guy who was in South Dakota and instead of the Philippines and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the the call centers in the Philippines but I just feel like the guy that I was speaking to in, a, in the United States was uh, really helpful and he worked within Amazon and it, he knew a lot about the adverts and I ended up learning a whole load of things about pay-per-click on Amazon from this guy. So it is really about getting through to the right person that can help you. And then finally, if you can't get the negative review removed, I would bury it with more positive reviews. So just go out and seek more reviews from happy customers. I hope these tips on removing negative reviews has been helpful. The most important thing is to avoid negative reviews in the first place.
but if you do already have a negative review, you want to try and remove it right away because it doesn't look good to the customer obviously looking at your product page and it also doesn't look good as a seller for Amazon as well. The more reviews, bad reviews you get, the, they can actually see that your product's not very good or your customer service isn't good at all. And you want to keep on the good side of Amazon because they're ultimately the ones that rank you higher on the organic searches on Amazon's product search results and you just want to be the best seller and do the best customer service for your customers as well because it will all come back to you. So thanks for watching, I hope this video was helpful.